So let's have a look. This is the first time when students are doing this sort of uh, question. It's the first time they've had to use a multi-step process to work out an answer. Now I should say we could do even simpler ones with a two digit plus a one digit. I'm skipping over those. But when they get to this algorithm, they're moving beyond number facts. So when it's number facts like three plus six, we want the students to just go, that's nine because they've memorized it. But when we get here, we're getting to a question where the numbers are too big and you know we wouldn't expect anyone to memorize. So there's a multi-step process to carry out. The prerequisites here, of course, are that students have learned their number facts and that they understand what the operation is um, and what it means and how, you know, how we use it in everyday life. Anyway, we're going to start with the ones, of course, because that's the way we do this operation because of the need for regrouping sometimes. Uh, so 6 plus 7 is 13. We're going to write the 3 and then ask a question with our students such as, are there enough ones to make a 10? Uh, do we have more than 9? That sort of question. There's a number of ways you could put it. Now a lot of my students put the one at the top here. I prefer to put it down the bottom. Either way, we're going to be telling our students to put it in the tens column. If you put it at the one, just be aware that there is a risk that when you get to multiplication questions, students will add it before they multiply and that will give them the incorrect answer. So my preference is to put it here. You can see it is 13 and this one is very close to where the answer is, which is really where it belongs logically. Anyway, then we do the tens. Five and three is ten. And, uh, sorry, five and three is eight, and one is nine. We could refer to that as fifty plus thirty plus ten. But one of the benefits of using algorithms is that you're only dealing with single-digit um, uh, sums at the one time. So that's pretty much uh, all there is to it. There's not, a, as I said, not a very difficult um, operation. With later questions with bigger numbers, so if that was an eight, there would be some more. Re grouping to do so there'd be another step of course.